Hi guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, if you read the title, it is going to be a review and this is the number two review on my channel. I am very, very excited because I had a lot of fun doing the first one. I definitely want to do more reviews in the future. If a new product comes out or you see something that you want me to talk about and see what my opinion is, please make sure to tweet me or snap me so I can definitely make a video on the new hottest things for you guys. That being said, I just got a package from Wet n Wild in the mail a few days ago and it is their brand new mega cushion collection. It came in this cute little cushion looking box right up in here. And if you open it up, the collection comes with six cushion, oh. The collection comes with six cushion compacts and three cushion lip creams. I have no idea how a cushion lip cream is gonna work, but I guess we are going to find out. There's a highlight, a contour, as well as four color correctors, which I'm super excited to try out. I have never actually used a cushion product on my face before. I know cushion foundations were wildly, wildly popular for a very, very long time, a few like months ago in the beauty scene, but I never actually put one on my face, so I'm super duper excited to try them out today. Looking at this collection right now, it says they are fragrance-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and vegan as well. So that means no animals were harmed in the making of this product, which is so amazing because I know a lot of you guys care a lot about that. Um, yeah. So the cushion compacts retail for $5.99 each and the lip cushions retail for $4.99 each. So definitely super cheap and affordable, but let's go ahead and put these products to the real test and see how they actually apply on the face. Before we go in with any actual base products, I want to color correct my face since that is what majority of the set consists of. So I'm first going to go in with the shade Peach, which is the orange color corrector, and that is for dark circles. So each thing comes with this little cushion on the inside, it says Wet n Wild on it, definitely super duper cute. And then it is protected as well, so it can't get dirty, thank God. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Oh God, okay. Looking at this on my hand, it's super, super light, which is definitely very, very worrying to me. I did just get a spray tan, so I am darker than normal, and this is gonna be like a concealer looking color. And as well, when you do wanna correct dark circles, you definitely want a pretty like deep orange, even red shade, depending on how dark your skin tone is, to really combat the blues and the purple tones of the dark circles. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna work, but I guess let's just go ahead and get some on the cushion and apply it under the eyes and see how it looks. I mean, the formula feels nice, but this is definitely not the right color that an orange color corrector should be. But then again, who am I to say what a color should be? So I guess we're just gonna continue putting this on and see what it looks like later on. Since this is for darkness, I'm also gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm gonna put this on my facial hair area just to combat, once again, the blues and purple tones that hair gives off. I literally just shaved my entire face, like two hours ago and it's already coming back in. Never heard of five o'clock shadow before. Apparently when you're me, you get 12 p.m. shadow. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna use is the shade green, which is for redness. And once again, the green is super, super light. It literally looks white on camera. Here the green is swatched next to the orange on my hand. Literally, you can barely even tell that there's color there. Normal color characters that I've seen before are usually a lot deeper, but once again, not gonna knock it until we put everything else over top and see how it really looks. Like I said, green color correctors are typically for fixing redness. And honestly, I'm having a decent skin day today, so I'm just gonna place this over a few little blemishes over here. You got one over here, here, here. I guess I'm just gonna tap the excess product onto my nose because my nose tends to get pretty red. The other two color characters in the collection are yellow, which brightens, and then purple, which combats yellow. And neither one of those are really problems that I have on my face. So I guess I'm just gonna skip out on those today and move right into foundation. Now, what I find pretty weird about this entire collection is that it is the Mega Cushion Collection, but the one product that isn't in this collection is a cushion foundation. Like I was saying before, cushion foundations were hugely popular at one point and even still are today. I see a ton of people using cushion foundations and rocking them so, so well. So I was pretty surprised that there wasn't a cushion foundation in this actual collection, but I went ahead and I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation to go with this look. I was debating whether or not to use the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation or the Maybelline one because I heard those are super bomb and I did find them at the drugstore, but I figured using the Wet n Wild one would probably be a lot better just because these are Wet n Wild products, so I'm sure the formulas will kind of like work a little bit better together than the Maybelline formula or the L'Oreal formula mixed together might make things look a little bit wonky. I just want to give these products a very, very fair chance because a cushion product definitely is like a weird concept to a lot of people, so gotta be fair, you feel? For my foundation today, I picked up the shade Cream Beige, which is actually the only color they have left at my CVS, so I'm praying that the shade 
matches me, but we're gonna go right ahead and we're gonna try this on. Oh, okay, this is not the applicator I was expecting. It's gonna layer this right over top of all the color correcting. Okay, and it's definitely a little bit dark too. We can definitely lighten this up with a little bit of concealer later on, do not worry. This foundation is also only $5.99. Wet n Wild is definitely not playing around when it comes to these amazing prices. They said, girlies on a budget, we got you, and major respect for that. Makeup can be so crazy expensive sometimes, so it's so relieving when we see amazing and cheap products, but I don't wanna call it amazing yet. I will let you guys know in a few quick seconds. All right, so that is the foundation all applied over top of the color corrector. Honestly, looking at this in the mirror, my face looks so good right now, and I know this foundation is not the point of the video, but for $5.99, I'm a little bit shook to be honest, and I definitely will be trying this again for sure in a normal everyday makeup routine because I really like the base a lot. Moving on to the color correctors, they were definitely a lot lighter than normal color correctors, but my darkness and my redness is pretty even out for the most part. You can't really see anything, especially under the eyes. I feel like the eyes look really, really bright and nice, which definitely does not work with a lot of foundation sometimes. I'm not sure how like full coverage this actual foundation is. Oh my God, the thing on the back first says, goodbye photo flashback. Maybe that's why I love this foundation so much. <laughs> It doesn't say the level of coverage on the actual foundation bottle, but I'm assuming this is pretty, pretty full coverage. My skin looks very, very even, and I definitely like the way the color corrector applied. So once again, for only $5, definitely not bad. I'm liking this a lot so far. Moving on to concealer, once again, similar to the foundation, there was no pressed cushion concealer. So I went ahead and I picked up the Photo Focus Concealer. I picked up the shade Light Ivory because once again, this is the only shade they had in stock at my CVS. CVS, you need to step your shit up. But I'm just gonna apply this like a normal concealer in the high points of my face and blend it out. The one thing I have noticed about these products is that they all dry down super duper fast, including the color correctors. I know the foundation and concealer are not like the point of this video, but like I said, I wanted to use them just to kind of formula match. They're definitely super, super drying, but that means I might not have to set my face today, so I'm honestly excited to see how this turns out. Now that the base and highlight are all on, we're gonna do some cream contouring, and for this we're gonna use the Cushion Contour in the shade Cafe Osle. That name is literally so cute, I cannot get over it. But similar to the color correctors, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna have a little bit of a cushion, a cover, and then the contour shade. And this one actually looks like it's a dark color, thank God. Here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. Definitely a pretty warm tone, so this contour is gonna be very, very bronzy. We probably will not be using any bronzer today, but let's go ahead and put it on the actual face and see how it applies. All right, so this shade is definitely very, very, very light, and like I was saying before, I do have a spray tan right now, so it is barely even showing up on my face, which is a little bit disappointing to me just because the other two shades are definitely very, very light as well, so it seems like anybody that's like darker than the shade Mayonnaise will probably not really be able to use this set. Come on, beauty brands, we really need to stop playing 50 shades of white here. There are darker people in the world that want to wear your makeup. All right, I'm just gonna dip right into my beauty blender with this because I'm blending this out with my little sponge is definitely taking way too long and I do not have a lot of time today. So I'm just going to blend this right in using my beauty blender. I am gonna try to cream contour my nose a little bit too. All right, and that is the contouring and chiseling all complete. I don't hate it, it definitely looks pretty good, but it's definitely just very, very, very subtle, barely there type of situation. This is definitely a shade that it's gonna work for very, very few people because it is so light and not very pigmented, which is pretty disappointing. Like I was saying before, there are so many other shades of color other than the 50 shades of white. This particular one is gonna be a pass for me, but I like the color corrector so far, and let's go ahead and move on with the highlighter. So the last question that I'm gonna be using is the highlighter, and this is in the shade Who's that pearl? You guys know that normally I would do my highlighter way later on in my makeup routine, but I'm just gonna do the base for today and then do my eyes and like eyebrows and stuff off camera because this is a review, not a makeup tutorial. I'm trying to get better at like separating everything and really learn how this type of content works. Please bear with me, but since this is all like cream and liquid base, I wanna make sure that everything is like in the right order. And if I do decide to use any powders, I don't wanna like disrupt the product. So this is what the highlighter looks like in the pan. It is a very, very pinky toned highlighter for sure. So let's go ahead and grab our little clean cushion and put it into the pan and do a little swatch. This highlighter is definitely pretty, 
pretty. On the camera, you can see it next to the color correctors. It is very, very light. It's almost like white with just the tiniest little bit of pink reflect in it. So I'm very, very worried to see how this is gonna look on the face. Hopefully it doesn't give like that gray cast that a lot of highlighters give, but let's go ahead and put it on and see. Okay, so I don't know who thought of applying a highlighter with a cushion, but this is definitely not the shape of thing that you'd wanna be applying glow with. I'm gonna go into my beauty blender and try to blend this out a little bit. But honestly, it does look pretty chalky and blending in a highlighter with a cushion, definitely will not do that again. All right, let me stop while I'm ahead before I get too crazy and then end up taking my entire makeup off from hating it so much. This does not look awful. I really, really like the color factor. It worked very, very well for me, even though it was super duper light. I really like the foundation and I like the concealer as well. I guess it doesn't really matter though because the foundation and concealer were not really part of this review, but that's what it's come to. Now that the base is all complete, I'm gonna go and do the other stuff off camera. So I'm gonna do my brows and my eyes, and then I'll come back for the lips and we're gonna test out the lip cushions that are in this collection. So I will be right back. All right, so I just threw together this pink glowy look. I absolutely love how this turns out. This looks really, really pretty on camera as well. For everything, I use the I Love Sada EX ColourPop collection. It's brand new and I use this shade over here, which is called Heavy Glam. It is so beautiful and very, very pivoted as you can see. I use it for the inner corners and my glow as well because Lord knows that cushion highlighter was definitely lacking. But the last thing we have on our list today is the lips. So we have these three lip cushion shades right up in here. We have this purpley shade, which is called Bubblegum in Paradise. This bright pink, which is called Doll So Hard. And then this ready orange, which is called Melon Like It Is. I'm definitely not feeling the bright pink or the bright purple. So I think I'm gonna go with this ready orange type shade to hopefully mesh between my hoodie and the pink in the inner corners. I honestly have no idea. To be completely honest, as soon as this video is over, I'm gonna replace it with a glossy lip for the Instagram photo anyway, but obviously I wanna finish off the review for you guys. Let's go ahead and apply this one, the melon like it is. Oh, so I guess this is what it means by a cushion lip. Okay. That's interesting. This is strange. These are supposed to dry down matte, which it is definitely doing. The formula honestly is not awful. If I'm looking in the mirror, it definitely is a little bit patchy and cracky. I think that's just because the applicator is absolutely awful. Um, it's really hard to get it like a precise line. As you can see, like over here, I'm way outside of the lip line. I tried to overline as well, and it is definitely not looking even. I don't know why a ball applicator would ever be useful to anybody trying to get a precise lip line. Maybe if it's just like for really, really, really quick, like just a like, Padding type action, but definitely not for like the serious makeup liquid lipstick wearer. All right guys, so that is the look all complete. Let's go back and recap everything that we've tried out so far. So as a reminder, we are reviewing the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Collection today. We had four, four <laughs> color correctors, a highlight cushion and a contour cushion, and then three lip cushions in this full set. Color correctors, they were definitely pretty good. They retail for $5.99 each. I really like the green one and the orange one. They did a very good job of covering up my acne and my dark circles. My skin tone looks super even right now and I am absolutely loving it, especially with the foundation as well, which was not cushioned, but definitely will be used by me. Again, that's aside from the point though. <laughs> the purple and yellow color correctors, I definitely would skip out on. I'm not saying they're bad by any means. I honestly did not even try them but I am someone who has never ever used a purple or yellow color character. I personally don't really see much of a point for them. As for the highlight and contour shades, these are definitely a little bit more of a miss for me. The contour honestly looked really, really pretty on my skin tone. It blended out pretty well once I used my beauty blender, but it was not that intense. The worst parts about it is that it was very, very light. I have a spray tan right now and it barely showed up on me, meaning for anybody that's darker than me, which is like majority of the entire world population, it would not look very good. It probably would honestly look like a highlighter shade and that was obviously not the goal of a contour cushion, but that being said, it worked for me. Would I recommend it? Maybe, it definitely depends on your skin tone. As for the highlighter, this one was definitely the worst fail of the collection. It just looked like a lighter pigment in general. It really did not have much of like a highlighty glow. Once I finished off the look, I obviously packed on a ton of that um, pink single shadow that I used in the inner corners as well for the highlighter because that highlighter was looking very, very chalky and definitely not doing it for me. 
As with the three lip cushions, I honestly really, really like the formula. They went on very, very nicely. They applied nicely. They look nice. They feel nice. The only part I wouldn't recommend is the actual applicator of the lip cushions themselves. The ball applicator just really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's messy. It's hard to get a good lip line. I definitely would not recommend. But for $4.99, honestly, just get it, squeeze it out on your hand, and then use a lip brush because I really like these lip products. After looking at everything, I honestly cannot decide if this collection is a hit or a miss. It's not very often that a group of products is so evenly split. Like, I feel like there are a lot of really, really good products, and there are also a lot of things that I would literally never use again. So I'm, like, hardcore on the fence right now. Definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought of each product. Have you used cushion products before? Let me know. What's your favorite type of stuff? Let's have a nice little sisters discussion in the comments down below because I'm definitely open to the concept of the cushion foundation. I would love to try it more in the future, and definitely I will keep you guys posted on what I think. But but for the most part, there were some good things and some bad things. So I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. I post two videos a week on Mondays and Fridays, and I would love to have you join the sisterhood. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are both just James Charles. And my Snapchat and you now for more behind the scenes type stuff are James Charles and an extra ass after Charles. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!